Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's video, we're going to be comparing a 2021 Jeep Gladiator Mojave to a 2021 Ford Ranger Tremor. But first and foremost, a huge shout out and thank you to the Larry Miller Dodge Ram here in Provo for giving me some time with this Mojave. Check out their inventory in the link below. Let's get straight into the video. under the hoods of both the trucks starting over here with the gladiator we have a naturally aspirated 3.6 liter v6 that goes through an eight speed automatic transmission power outputs are 285 horsepower and then 260 pound feet of torque coming over here to the ford ranger tremor we have a turbocharged 2.3 liter four cylinder that goes through a 10 speed automatic transmission power outputs are 270 horsepower and then 310 pound feet of torque fuel economy with both the trucks is actually really similar uh, so the biggest thing is we've got a turbocharged engine over here with the naturally aspirated engine over here on the Gladiator. A little bit more torque over here, but a little bit more horsepower over there. Now let's briefly go over the front ends of both the trucks, starting over here with the Mojave. Notice you've got the venting there at the top, full LED lights on the side with the LED turn signals, and then you have the Mojave logo there on the side. And then we've got the signature Jeep front bumper and then front grille as well with the orange tow hooks on the other side, and then the fog lights. Coming over here to the Ranger, you've got a regular Ranger hood and you've got the full LED lights that come with the Ranger, fog lights in the bumper housing right here. And then notice you've got parking sensors along the front with the tow hooks there at the bottom. And then we've got the red accenting, which is part of the Tremor package. But yeah, there's the front end of the Ranger. There's the front end of the Gladiator. Now let's go over everything here on the side. So we've got 17 inch wheels on both trucks. We've got 32s on the Ranger and then we've got 33s over here on the Mojave. And then I'm gonna give you guys a quick look here at the suspension setup. We'll go over it in just a moment on both of the trucks. And then here's everything over here on the Ranger. Notice you've got the painted fender flares and then you've got the massive ones on the Gladiator. And then yes, we do have the protection underneath on both of the trucks, but this one has side steps integrated onto them and then notice again with the rear end you've got the gigantic fenders on the jeep whereas the tremor it's a little bit more understated you've got a tremor badge right there on the back but now let's get into the shocks and suspension starting over here on the tremor we have the two inch fox dampers here in the front and then also in the rear you can't really see all that much in there except for the leaf springs just a little bit and then coming over to the gladiator we have the two in two and a half inch sorry internal bypass shocks again made by fox you can see those right here in the front and then also in the rear as well you can see that whole setup and everything so a little bit more of an advanced system here on the mojave Now let's quickly go over the rears. So we've got a payload capacity on the Gladiator of 1,127 pounds and then 1,431 pounds on the Ranger Tremor. And then here's just a quick look at the beds on both of the trucks. Notice the Tremor does have a bed liner here from the factory. And then from a tailgate perspective, this one is really light. And then we'll go over to the Tremor. Again, pretty light, not as light as the Gladiator. Towing capacity is about 7,000 pounds, and then you're just under 5,000 pounds here on the Gladiator Mojave for the towing capacity. Notice you've got the orange tow hooks there and the back end. And then over here, you've got parking sensors, no recovery hooks or anything like that on the rear end that are crazy visible from a stylistic perspective. And then you've got the LED lights over here, and then also LED lights on the Jeep as well. Uh, but yeah, that's the back end of the Mojave, and that's the back end of the Tremor. Now let's quickly go over things here in the rear. So first off, we've got the nice soft touch leather here in this area with the stitching. And then you can see we've got full leather seats here in the back of the Tremor because this is a Lariat package. And then rubber floor mats all across. And then you've got some areas where you can charge devices. And then popping over here to the Mojave, which actually will shut this so we can open up the door a little bit more. Notice you've got the orange stitching here, padding just like in the Tremor. And then here to the seats. This one has an interesting color combination, uh, but bear with me. I, you can see that material wise on the seats is the same as what you get in the Tremor. And you got the orange stitching that goes throughout. Window controls here on the center. You still get charging areas, all that kind of stuff. Full power outlet, cup holders. Uh, so from a back seat perspective, pretty similar. And then you guys can see you've got the cloth floor mats and well, that's all. Now we're just going to briefly go over the interior here in the front of the Tremor. So again, you've got all the soft touch here on the door and then here are the seats in the Tremor. Notice they say Tremor on it. And you've got the Alcantara there on the center portion. They're partially power adjustable. And you can see the light controls right there. But let's actually step in and 
turn the truck on. You guys can see you've got that normal Ford chime that pops on. Here is the whole steering wheel, so wrapped with leather. It does have adaptive cruise control. You've got like your volume voice command controls, all that kind of stuff. And then here in the center stack, that's what the gauge cluster looks like. And then this does come with some different uh, drive modes, which uh, will actually shut the door so then it'll pop that on. So we've got our normal mode, we've got our grass, gravel, snow, we've got our mud and our ruts, and then you've got your sand mode, so you can go through those different drive modes. And then we can see you've got the center infotainment system here, which is just Ford's newer infotainment system from a camera perspective. Backup camera with these zoom in function on the receiver hitch, just press that button right there. Um, but yeah, infotainment system is really easy to use. You guys have seen it in a million of my videos. And then we've got auxiliary switches there at the top of the truck. And then down below, we've got all of our radio controls right here. Dual zone climate here in the Tremor with heated seats. Got some 12 volts right there, auxiliary. And then function-wise on the off-road, you've got off-road cruise control. This is your towing mode, your parking sensors, auto stop start. We have a locker in the rear. And then your stability control, we've got two-wheel high, four-wheel high, four-wheel low. And then again, we've got the different drive modes. And then we've got our shifter right here. You can shift the gears yourself with the 10 speed. You do have a sport mode that comes with it. And then it says Ranger there on the glove box, uh, but let's head over to the Gladiator. Now taking a look at the door panel here again, notice you've got the orange stitching that goes across. And then we've got these seats again in the white finish with again, more orange stitching that goes all down them. But let's pop here into the Gladiator. Step in height's a little bit higher than the Ranger. As you can see everything all start right up. You also the steering wheel, the leather's a little bit softer. You've got perforated leather here on the side and then soft leather down below. And we'll shut the door. We've got all of our controls right here, just regular cruise control on the Gladiator Mojave. That's what the gauge cluster setup looks like. And then you have some screens. You can scroll through different bits of information with this. Uh, it's all super similar to uh, what you can find on the Tremor information wise. So we're just gonna kind of pass up that. But here's the infotainment system. This is what it looks like. Notice that response time on it's really good. And again, we still do get the heated seats and the heated steering wheel, and we get a backup camera with the zoom function. So from a functionality standpoint with that, they're actually very similar. Coming down below, we've got all of our analog climate controls. And then notice we've got auto stop start again. You get your stability control, still have off-road cruise control, just like the Tremor. You've got all of your window controls here in the center and then some charging areas. Now, the reason I picked the Mojave over a Rubicon is because of this right here. We just have an axle lock for the rear. If you get a Rubicon, you've got front and rear lockers and then sway bar disconnect. And so then this vehicle, if it had all that, it would be different, way different than the Tremor, but just have a locking rear end. And then notice here with the four wheel drive system, you've got two wheel high, four wheel auto, four wheel high part-time neutral, and then four wheel low. And then we have the shifter for the eight speed automatic, which again, you can still manually shift the gears yourself. Got the e-brake right here. So we have the center console covered in leather, all that kind of fun stuff. You have the key holder right here. Grab handle, just like all the Jeeps, and then notice the gray trim right here. And then yes, since this is a Gladiator, you can take the top off. This one has the insulation. So this part, you just use the latches. The back part, you do have to use tools. Now that we're done with the walk around portion, let's quickly take them both out for a drive and see how they drive. So we are setting off here in the Gladiator Mojave, and this is gonna be pretty uh, quick from the driving perspective, just because I'm basically just gonna tell you the differences that I feel. So first off, you definitely sit a little bit higher in the Jeep, or at least it feels like you sit higher in the seat. In terms of the feeling of the seat, this seat definitely feels uh, firmer compared to the seat in the Tremor. That's definitely kind of a feeling that I'm getting with it. Uh, and then let's see kind of how the handling feels. Uh, so the steering feels just as light. It feels like you kind of float around a little bit more though. Yeah, so the Tremor feels a little bit more direct. This kind of floats around the place a little bit uh, more from a steering perspective. Um, but once you kind of get past the floating, it's relatively direct, uh, just not as direct as the Tremor. I definitely love the feeling of the steering wheel with the leather and the perforated leather feels really nice see how the brakes are uh, brakes feel pretty much the same between both of them and we'll see how the acceleration is so we are at about 4,500 feet elevation and being a naturally aspirated engine it doesn't do as good as its turbocharged counterpart over there with the Ford badge on it uh, but I mean it's still pretty good for a mid-sized truck it just doesn't feel as quick 
as the Tremor, but I will say uh, the V6 does sound good though, so it's got that going for it. Uh, and then in terms of the shocks and suspension, what do I feel with that? Uh, it feels like it rides a little bit rougher than the Tremor. Um, when you go over bumps and stuff like that, it doesn't upset it. Like it definitely stays nice and planted, uh, but it does feel a little bit rougher on road. And I kind of expected that with the type of shocks that this has from Fox. Uh, so yes, you will get a little bit worse ride quality on road, but a huge benefit to that is it's going to be insanely capable on the off-road from a shock perspective and all that. Uh, so just overall, the Gladiator Mojave is awesome. You could daily drive this on-road, uh, but it definitely does feel a little bit more dedicated to the off-road compared to the Tremor. And with that said, let's go pop into the Tremor. We're setting off here in the Ranger Tremor and let's just quickly make the comparisons to the Gladiator. So first off, it does ride a little bit smoother on road and there is a little bit less tire noise compared to the Gladiator. I expected that this has 32s instead of 33s like the Gladiator has. The benefit to the 33s is you're gonna get a little bit more grip on the off road compared to this truck that has 32s. And then aside from that, Again, like I said, the steering feels a little bit more direct. It's not as vague as the Gladiator, but again, you don't have like the cool smooth leather that the Gladiator has. Uh, turning with this truck does feel uh, better overall. It definitely feels like it just handles a little bit better on road. Uh, and I mean, again, that's kind of a Jeep thing. Jeeps are just kind of known for that. It's not necessarily a bad thing. It's just how they drive. So you just have to get used to it. And then in terms of the brakes, yeah, again, I can't really perceive a, a difference between both the trucks from a braking perspective. Now let's get an acceleration here with the Tremor. Woo! Again, since we're at 4,500 feet elevation, turbochargers are king and definitely feels quicker than the Gladiator. Uh, and I mean, I just expect that again because it's turbocharged and all of that. So let's quickly get into summing things up with our driving comparison with both the Gladiator and with the Tremor. Uh, so first off, the Tremor does have a higher towing capacity and higher payload capacity. So if that's important to you, well, then go Tremor. Acceleration, the Tremor's quicker. So if that's important to you, Tremor. Looks wise, the Gladiator definitely has more road presence than the Tremor. This just looks like a regular mid-sized truck, whereas the Gladiator looks like this crazy off-road vehicle. So the Gladiator definitely uh, wins on that point. Interior-wise, I definitely prefer the seats in the Tremor. They're definitely more comfortable. They're softer, uh, but I do prefer like the steering wheel and kind of the overall design of the interior on the Gladiator. The Gladiator interior feels more special, if that makes sense. And then from a suspension standpoint, and a tire standpoint, it's kind of a toss up, right? These tires are quieter, but the Gladiator has 33s. So those ones are gonna get better grip. So it depends on what's important to you from that perspective. And then from the suspension perspective, this truck is smoother. And when you actually go over bumps and stuff, the Gladiator, it absorbs it, but you feel it. Whereas this absorbs it and you don't feel it as much. Uh, so this from a suspension standpoint is definitely more compliant. Uh, so it just depends on what you want. Where, But again, with the Gladiator, you give up suspension compliance for something that's gonna be a little bit more capable. So it just really depends on what is important to you. If you want something that's kind of like your weekend off-road toy, the Gladiator is gonna be the one to go for, the Gladiator Mojave. If you want something that's a little bit more of a daily driver, that's a little bit more well-rounded, a little bit more practical, Ford Ranger Tremor, done. Now let's quickly get into pricing with both of the vehicles. So the Mojave stickers for about $54,000 and the Tremor stickers for about $48,000. So there is a $6,000 price difference between both of the trucks. That's pretty much gonna sum things up for today's video. I want you guys to let me know in the comment section below if you'd rather pick the Tremor or the Gladiator Mojave and why. And then again, a huge shout out and thank you to the Larch Miller Dodge Ram here in Provo for giving me some time with the Mojave. Check out their inventory in the link below. I will see all of you guys in the next video.